Google has stood up to these workers and said, no, you are not welcome here anymore. They have all been sacked for participating in that protest. Now, of course, you'll have cries from some, what about their freedom of speech? How dare Google tell these people how to think politically? Well, I'm very sorry. I don't know any other workplace where you would be able to go to work, openly criticise your employer, say how terrible they are, dictate to the bosses how they must do their job and keep your job. Google has made the right call here. Mm. Um, and, you know, in the, the big tech world, where often they squib this kind of thing, I'm actually glad to see someone standing up and saying, no, we're not going to tolerate this crap. Th these workers, presumably on six-figure salaries, seriously misread the room, didn't they? I mean, it seems like they probably assumed Google being, you know, quite progressive left and, and associated with all the uh, progressive causes might uh, have an open ear to their protest and now they find themselves on the unemployment queue. But if they'd had the conviction, or the, the courage of their convictions and they were really worried about <coughs> Google profiting from genocide, then surely you don't go and sit in the executive's office retaining your six-figure salary from the company profiting from genocide. You, you resign your yeah. job, don't you, if you really have the courage of your convictions? I just find both of your naivety a beautiful thing here. Go I, on. Not for a second do I give Google any props for this. They are not in any way chosen some sort of pro-Israel stance here. They are simply protecting their $1.2 yeah. billion dollar contract As well they right. with the Israeli government. Yes, so let's not turn this into a, oh, that was so pro-government. These guys defaced their property, mm. the offices. Yeah. They kept that up for 10 hours, which would drive anyone insane. As you said, Google is lefty-leaning. Mm. We, uh, I would never speak well of Google in any way, shape or form. And this was simply self-serving. It, it was not a matter of, oh, we're taking a stance on this whatsoever. These guys are a client and they and said to their employees, you do not get to tell us yeah. who we can and can't have as a client. You don't get to protest clients. You come here, you shut up, you do your work for, ever, for whoever we've signed contracts with. If you can't do that, there's the door. But I love how this group, they call themselves no tech for apartheid. And they said that this was a historic protest. Oh. It was bi-coastal, which was true because they had one going in New York and in California at the same time in these two Google headquarters. So they were very proud of themselves, but the way they talk it up on their site, like they have just achieved something magnificent, <laughs> instead of just ending up on the uh, jobless line at whatever American form of Centrelink there is,